All right, hey guys, so we're on location. Uh, we're over at uh, my brother's dad's place. He's making noise in the background already. So we're working on his, it's a, a 20 heritage, right? Yeah. All right, so heritage. 20, 20 heritage. He's got some new slip-ons and he's already getting ahead of me here, but I'm not gonna show you what they are, but I've already got the before audio clip. We're loosening up the heat shields. It's a, just a flathead or eight mil. You got your bolt up top here, it's a half inch. And then underneath on both sides, right about there if that's shown up, got a 916 sound. So we'll get all that loosened up. And then with a little bit of heave ho, wiggle and swear words, we should be able to get these guys slipped off and then get the new ones on. So I'll check back once we got these old, you know, crappy quiet stock guys off and just got some head pipes exposed. So. <laughs> about these new pipes is they did come with new clamps which is what he's tightening up there I don't know where the other one went but it's uh, yeah, so. somewhere it's on your right side by your hip yeah thank you right there. but you can whoops throwing stuff you can see they are substantially smaller the new ones compared to the stalkers so we're He's tightening up the uh, front uh, clamp. Pipe, front clamp now. So get the rear slip on on, get the new clamp on, and save these for posterity, or you know, throw them at neighbor kids. It's always fun to throw stuff at the neighbor kids.
So, all of our clamps are tightened up, all of our bolts are good. Just giving it a wipe down, get all them fingerprints off so that way nothing bakes into the chrome, you know, permanently. Don't want to ruin the finish on that. These are the new Vance & Hines Eliminator 300s that we got on here. Should really wake this thing up. And so, didn't cover it earlier, but you know, we already had the bags off when we got it up on the table. But, you know, just a couple of probably T40s, I'm guessing, and then the bag just slides off of that bushing there, and off it goes. So I'm gonna tidy up our mess a little bit. And I think we're about ready to give her a first fire.
All right, so it sounds mean, but uh, I don't know if you can see me, it's awful dark out. But what I wanna do is a sound comparison because on his bike, he's got the 114, I've got the 114. He's got the Vance and Hines Eliminators, I've got the same. Only difference is he's still got the, the packing and the baffles in there, I don't. So his bike's a little bit warm, mine's nice and cold, so there'll be a slight difference, but I wanna see how it's gonna sound side by side. So if you would, go ahead and fire yours up. I am. All right, and then here's mine. All right, so a little bit of a difference. You know, a lot more uh, deep and throaty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mine definitely higher and raspier, a little bit more hollow sounding. So, yeah. I mean, to each their Sounds own. More, more of an open pipe sound. Yeah, most yeah. definitely, yeah, most it, definitely. It, it definitely has an open pipe sound. Yeah, so depending on your preference, baffles and packing, no baffles, no packing. Huge difference. So, I uh, think that's about all I've got tonight. See if I can't waddle towards the light here and sign off. So, I can see you, you can see me, and you can see me seeing you. So... But uh, pretty. Do you see him? Everyone sees me. That's what happens when you're this rotund. Uh, but uh, all in all, it's probably about a two beer install. Which takes probably about 30, 45 minutes absolute tops. Probably a little bit less had it not been for the recording. But uh, anyway, uh, I know, like I said, my buddy with the Heritage, he's got some toys. If he uh, ever decides to let me come over and content in his garage. My brother's uh, got his new saddleman seat coming in for his 98 Softail. So that should be in, I think they told him like six to eight weeks. So, you know, we'll go and check that out, do an install on his, on his Softail and kind of keep trucking along. So if you would, just uh, if you liked it, throw me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below with any questions, comments, or concerns. Other than that, we'll catch you all next time.